Welcome to this quick video on adding simple functions in Google Sheets. So if you've had a look at the rest of this channel, you'll see there's a few videos on adding functions in Excel. And I just wanted to go through a few of the different ways that you can add them in Google Sheets because it's very similar, but there are slight differences and there's some nice wins as well. So a little bit like Excel, you've got a number of different ways you can do this. So when you're adding functions, like you want to add a number of figures up, you want to see an average, you want to concatenate multiple values together, things like that, you can go to insert in the top left hand corner and you can scroll down to the E function and you can see some of the names. The names are exactly the same. So if you know them in Excel, you'll pretty become you'll be comfortable in using them in Google Sheets if you've moved over. You can also, you will see it in the toolbar, toolbar as well. It's just got like a light shaded blue. Now, if you are zoomed in or out a little bit, you might need to go to the three dots at the end. And when I click on more, you'll see I have the functions option there. And again, if I click on it, you can see they're all visible to me as well. So you can see some recently used or standard ones there. And then you've got the rest of them down below in the sections that are all available to you. So you can access quite a few in here. There might not be as many as Excel, but you've got a ton of different options. You can just like Excel, always just start typing in using the equal sign. Let me put in some to give you a quick example. So I'm just going to press the tab to accept. You can see you've got the arrows to navigate. It does give you a few options. Now it is suggesting what you are summing. So you can see it is thinking, is it G2 to G13? If that's correct, I'm just going to press the tab and it's already done that for me. And if I'm not sure, if I double click on it, you can see the outline of what has been selected. So it does help you out a lot. It does try and guess for you, which is super useful. If that's not right, though, you can obviously go in there and make some changes. Uh, what's also really great with Google Sheets and these functions is you get some information at the bottom and you get a little bit more information than you would expect. So what I'm just going to do is select all of this data. And you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, I've got a sum there. But if I click on that drop down arrow, I can also see an average, a min, a max, a count and account numbers. So I've got even more just by selecting on that data without having to insert any functions or anything else. So some really nice quick wins with Google Sheets to add some quick functions and find out some information just by selecting some cells within the sheet. Please do have a go at that one. Please like and subscribe. Check out the rest of the videos in this channel and let me know what videos you would like me to record next.